Assalamu alaikum. My name is Amreen Sultan. I'm a PhD candidate at the Department of Economics at International Islamic University, Malaysia. The topic of my presentation is Empowering the Next Generation, Future Literacy and Youth Development in Muslim Societies. This is the outline of my presentation. Introduction. Due to globalization, the youth in Muslim societies find themselves grappling with complex societal drivers of change, including disruptive technological innovations and shifting geopolitical and socioeconomic landscapes. The youth population is key to achieving development goals both now and in the future. As the eminent leaders, change makers, innovators, and influencers, there is a need to nurture the potential of youth in the right direction. OIC member states are home to 350 million youth, accounting for 18.5% of their total population. OIC member states together account for 29%, which is slightly above one-fourth of the world's total youth population. According to UN World Population Prospects, by 2050, OIC member states are projected to account for more than one-third of the world's young population. This paper uses post-normal time theory and stresses that in these unprecedented times, the year, uh, social inclusion of youth is imperative to achieve a more inclusive, equitable, and sustainable future for Muslim societies. This can be achieved by cultivating a future thinking mindset in youth via future literacy. So what is the state of youth in OIC countries? The youth average uh, literacy rate in OIC member states remained lower than that of non-OIC developing countries. Youth labor force participation in OIC countries also remained the lowest as compared to non-OIC developing and developed countries. Youth unemployment rate in OIC countries remained the highest. Similarly, economic inactivity among youth in OIC countries remained the highest. So what is the state of education in Muslim societies? Mus education in Muslim world is facing a crisis, writes Anwar Ibrahim in the forward of revitalizing higher education in Muslim world by Abdusulimam. There is journal agreement that the Ummah is passing through an extremely difficult stage, writes Dr. Taha Jabir Alwani in the forward of crisis in the Muslim mind by Abdusulimam. Moreover, the opening lines of the forward of rethinking reform in higher education from Islamization to integration of knowledge echoes the same sentiments. Muslim societies are experiencing a crisis of education at all levels. Usman Bakr, in his article, The Role of Islam in Higher Education Policies of Muslim Countries, argues that the decline of higher education in the Islamic world could be detected as early as 14th century. Quoting Ibn Khaldun, he mentions that the decline began from the westernmost wing of the Islamic world, namely Morocco and Spain. The colonial period aggravated the problem whereby secular education and alien educational institutions were introduced to the Muslim world to train the machinery needed to support the colonial powers. Realizing the malaise of the Ummah in the post-colonial era, efforts were geared to establish Islamic higher education institutions. International Islamic University Malaysia is one such institution. Critics criticize these institutions on the grounds of disciplinary boundaries as their Western counterparts or adopting imitative Western and historical solutions that do not consider the temporal and contemporary realities of the Muslim societies. The curriculum for all disciplines generally and particularly for business schools is designed to meet the needs of the industry and not the needs of society. This study takes Pakistan as a case study to show the outlook of youth uh, about education and the future. Pakistan is the second largest Muslim country after Indonesia with a population of 231 million. It is also ranked uh, as the fifth um, young country in the world with a 63% population uh, of country comprises young age between 13, 15 and 33. The study uses the report by uh, British Council, 
the Next Generation uh, Report 2023 to see the outlook of youth in Pakistan. Uh, the sample size comprises of 3,466 participants, both from urban and rural areas, male, female, and transgenders between age 16 and 34 were interviewed. Yeah, you find their religious and national identities important. However, the religious identity has declined over time and while the national identity has increased. Evidence shows that young population differ from the views of, and values of their parents in several areas, including social change, lifestyle, and education. Majority of young people feel they are unable to decide their future. Most respondents believe their lives are worse off than their parents, but still Pakistani youth are optimistic about their future and want to remain in the country. The concerns of the young people are related to unemployment, poverty, and economic growth. Teaching quality emerges as the number one concern in the education. Young people acknowledge the failure of the education system to provide them with skills needed for modern employment. Lack of innovation is seen as a critical issue. Curriculum development is harshly criticized as a major issue with more focus on theory than practical application. The widening industry university gap, particularly in technology, leaves young people feeling unprepared for the job market. So what is post-normal time? Javdin Sardar defines the post-normal time as an in-between period where all old orthodoxies are dying, new ones have not yet emerged, and nothing makes sense. The key characteristics of post-normal change are speed, scope, scale, and simultaneity. That drives complexity, chaos, and contradiction. In this situation, orthodox methods do not work. So this time provides, presents us with the opportunity to navigate the future. Managing the unpredictability of what lies ahead has become a formidable challenge. Um, to overcome this uncertainty, it is crucial that we grasp it, and this is where future literacy becomes significant. To overcome the fear of the future and to bring about a real change, there is a need to teach and train the young generation to think critically and creatively about probable futures. By inculcating creative thinking, critical thinking, and imaginations, youth can be prepared to think about possible probable, plausible, and preferred futures. UNESCO defines future literacy as the capability. Uh, it is the skill that allows people to better understand the role of future in what they see and do. Being future literate empowers the imagination and enhances our ability to prepare, overcome, and invent um, uh, as changes occur. Just like Financial literacy and digital literacy, future thinking are skills that can be cultivated. The objective of developing future literacy is to enhance one's ability to think more innovatively, analytically, and expansively regarding the future. Future literacy is an individual's capacity to comprehend how the future shapes the present and how present decisions and actions impact the future. Digital literacy is imperative in developing future thinking mindset in Muslim youth to enable them to comprehend how the future influences their choices and behaviors. The future literacy programs and for workshops bring together participants to question their current assumptions and biases and envision the potential future. This helps participants to focus on flexibility, adaptability, creativity, and imagination instead of obsessing over prediction and controlling the future based on their current perceptions. UNESCO uh, helps um, future literacy labs in different parts of the world. To make our young generation agent of change, there is a need to substantially transform the education system in Muslim societies. An interdisciplinary approach must be adopted that uh, considers the temporal and contemporary needs and situations of the Muslim societies. New discipline must be introduced that cater to the needs of changing environment we live in, 
by improving the future literacy of young individual, they become more aware of the variety of potential futures and their capability to influence the course of future both on an individual level and on broader scale locally and globally. Through developing critical and creative thinking and fostering a future thinking mindset via future literacy uh, capability in young Muslims, we may not be able to see into the future, but we can better equip to prepare, plan, and innovate to create the future we seek. Thank you so much.